He graduated in 88, left his idle blaster here. At number one, we have a structural issue here. I mean, it smells like grandma's house. She's still in here. Onboard diagnostic. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This is this is OBD zero over here. <laughs> Think about all the feathered haired chicks you would have picked up. <laughs> we got into my saltines. Oh, rascals. Pop the bonnet. And the clown pops out. <laughs> it already kicked. Hi, Matt. Hi. Hi, Matt. Hi. So we're at an undisclosed location. Uh, the Matts are transferring ownership of a 1967 Trafco. Correct. Is that it? And they've been kind enough to let me come and film. Sounds like the grandfather of motorhomes. Yeah. From what I've researched. You were saying that uh, before this, everything was uh, pretty much a trailer. That's what I know of. Yeah. yeah. Could be incorrect, but I'm not a... Not an expert. Expert. Correct. None of us are. None of us are. I think, and that's what makes good content, especially when people get the bash on us for not knowing what the hell they're doing. So, just looking at it, I have not walked up to it yet. That's why I'm standing back here, and uh, we're gonna walk up to it, do a little walk around, and um, eventually, hopefully, this will turn into a will it run. But right now, today, we're just doing a little exploration, and from the back of it, I mean, it looks. I was saying earlier, it looks like a Corvair, but. Who knows? I could be wrong. Could be taillights from those. Could be Dodge A1. What are the old Dodge mini? Uh, the Dodge full size vans have? Didn't they have a uh, cab over van? Oh, the old old ones. Yeah. yeah. From the 60s. Well, this is from the 60s. Yeah. Uh, look at that green Ohio license plate. They haven't had those since the 80s. 88. Like you were saying, the kid graduated in 88. Left his uh, ghetto blaster here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Radio Shack, realistic. So, wow. All right, do we know what the size is on this? 27 foot. Is that bumper to tongue or? I don't know if it's bumper to tongue, but they say it's 27 footer on the internet. Oh man, it's a dually. It says the model 220, which is a 27 footer. Okay, wow. And it's open? Yeah. Look at it, sinking in. I gotta get a headlight shot. Oh yeah, that windshield banged up a little bit, but it's it's covered. Did uh, did one of you guys jack it up out of the mud? Yes, yeah. we did that yesterday. Oh okay. Well, so it was in there. Make sure the uh, tires had air so they could roll. You see, you put air in the tires. Yes, I was the crazy one that put the air in the tires. Wait for the blow. Uh, Matt, number one, we have a structural issue here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the four by four is next to it. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad you guys caught that before. All right, let's go inside. Anything uh, I should note? Oh man. Nothing living in there right now. I'm gonna, um, I don't have a light in widescreen, so I'm gonna pause the video. All right, Matt number two gave me a lightsaber to light this place up. Let's <laughs> cool. So I could tell you, I'm looking in it right now. It's not, it's not hitting me in the face. No. It's not terrible. I mean, it smells like grandma's house. Is grandma, that carpet. is she still in here? <laughs> Got some mouse presents. I re I did read on the Trafco that you know the earlier ones still had the push button dodge shifter linkage, and this one has the the lever. Oh man! You can open up the doghouse and see the engine. It's we'll we'll right come there. right back into there in just a second. All right. Wow, you got a full kitchen here. You guys got a pie in the oven? There's no pie, man. You guys are not very hospitable. I'm assuming this is a... Well, this is interesting. I guess a control center for the power. Onboard diagnostic? Yeah, pretty much. This is a, this is an OBD zero over here. <laughs> so, but I thought that would be a generator control. If you want to start cooking, I believe there's stuff in the top of that cupboard above the stove that you can use. Is there a stove top in here at least? Or hamburger helper? There you go. No oh kidding. <laughs> Look at those idiot mice didn't even find this. Dude, it's all over here and he's eating plastic and rope. What an idiot. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
there's there's Senka in here, man. Oh my god, that's a that is <laughs> that's old school. That's awesome. Oh wow, I think these uh blue tip matches. I like how they labeled the drawers, like, put four sauce dishes here, the meatloaf platter in the middle. Did you see that? No. Two bowls on the left. These people are organized. That's awesome, though. I love these time capsules. This is, this is better than I thought it was going to be. But the nightgown that was hanging up, did you wear it? Did you want you guys try it on? Or did no, you I'll take wait it for you. <laughs> it's all, it's all yours. I brought my own, man. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Oh, there we go. There's your McDonald's. Oh, foam. <clears throat> coffee pot if you need a cup of coffee. Well, that's what I was just going to look at. Want some Nest tea, you guys? <laughs> Folgers is over there. Is there Folgers? Oh, look at the premium Nabisco saltine crackers. <laughs> wow. I mean, if you had to survive, <laughs> the mice never got into that container. All right, you want to open this up? Are you afraid? No. no, it's clean, believe it or not. Uh, oh, well, I got in there and cleaned it out. Oh, is there a crapper? Yes. That's where your robe is, right there. There's my robe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is not terrible. I mean, it's dirty, but if you have to use it, there's actually more room in here, I think, than I've seen in most. Usually these RV ladies are like 350 plus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Henry, are we there yet? I want to stop by the yarn store. Fazio's. Oh, the fresh food people. Did you know? You didn't know this. My father worked for Fazio's, so my whole childhood was revolved around Fazio's. My grandfather drove for Fazio's. Oh, really? My yeah, dad worked. Swinging beef. My dad worked in uh, advertising. Okay. So, <clears throat> okay, well, the mattress is gone, but the mice, I'm going to have to stick my finger in this <laughs> hole. I mean, literally. Ugh. Oh, okay. There's a hot water tank, I guess. Okay, my finger is covered in pee. All right, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at mat number one. Big block Chrysler. But we don't know which one. Right? So Correct. That's okay. I guess so really... it could be a three three, four thirteen, or a four forty. He's sixty seven, so I'm wondering if it it's not a I'm wondering if it's a four forty. You know what I mean? Alright, so this is the, the power mill here and uh not today, but maybe at some point we can uh once it gets towed out of here, um do the will it run you haven't done anything with the engine haven't barred it over nothing, nothing. yeah that's cool um i wonder if the plugs are in it the plug there's at least there's at least one spark plug in it yeah okay the plugs are in it thank god yeah so um yeah we didn't even take an air cleaner off so i'm not even sure what that looks like there's probably an air cleaner in there <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that thing glowing? That's probably like a, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying it's a 12 volt light probably yeah. and it's like super dim. I don't know. We got 20 you volts. Have, I mean, uh, 120 yeah. volts. It could be, but that's so small. I don't Correct. think you had a big ball. It'd be low wattage in any case. Correct, yeah. With it, that. It could be running off the 12 volt system. Yeah, oh, do you want, so the there's an Onan generator in here? Yes. There's gonna be a bonus, will it run? Will it yeah, run no. too? Which one is it? Oh. Uh, as far as you can get. Is a green Jenny in there, so might not be able to see it on film, but all right, that'll be good. What's in here? Yep, just storage. Propane Probably tanks. propane. Oh, okay, they gone. Uh, is that propane powered or propane for the stove? The stove and maybe the heater. Is I there? Believe if we come around the other side here. I'm guessing that's going to be the fuel for the vehicle. Okay. And this. Is the fuel for the generator, I think. I That's a good read. size tank. So when I was in there, I saw that. I knew that. I, I thought that was maybe for the engine. I didn't realize there was another tank. I think this is for the generator. You're I probably read the right. Plate. It probably says diesel only. We're going to go ahead and put gas in there. And this would <laughs> be your water hookup for when you're at the. 
Where's the uh, dirty water output? Do you know where that is? Right down behind the rear wheel. Don't mix those up. Right. And it's dual exhaust. Of course, it's got, got twice pipes, here, dude. Oh, on the other side. This side's actually in good shape. This will this will buff. It'll buff. Yeah. Oh, the master cylinder's under here. <laughs> Sir, it'll be $5 million to replace your exhaust system and it requires 300 feet of pipe. <laughs> oh, this is cool, man. You don't want to get rid of this. You could have painted this up like your van, dude. Mm -hmm. You could have towed your van with this. With you... the trailer hitch on this thing, you could oh my God. anything. Think about all the feathered haired chicks you would have picked up. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for showing me. I'm going to cut it here, but um, I hope to see it again on the road hauling maybe that boat that we bought that i don't want it's perfect for this we have a 72 um penyan avenger i didn't do a video i didn't do the editing on it yet but i think you need it because i don't want it don't worry. <laughs> There's a jack stand under there. Yeah. <laughs> what are you I you know, under there? What are you guys going? Who's is going under? Flat top, the top roof, or is it kind There's of an AC, AC on the front? There's an AC. Does it touch it? No, nope. but no, if clear. you drag it, it will. We're clear on this side. We'll get that jack stand out. And it didn't even flex. It didn't even flex. All right. Are you looking up there? Put your seatbelt on. No, not yet. Not just yet. Ro rock we'll it. Just right now. It's all right. All right. Hold on. You gotta get back in and turn it. <laughs> you cleared the AC. You're good. That other side rolling. Yes. Yeah. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. There you go. Okay. Okay.
34 years. <laughs> One hung up brake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a power washer. <laughs> Say you want in on this? You guys are good. Okay. Sixty-seven. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I told you about this, right? You told me about it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Right. So, so we, I was looking for it to say Travco. I've seen Travco in Iran. I see it Dodge says, Motor. It says Travco on my call when the owner calls me. So oh. what had happened was probably last summer I saw this on uh, Marketplace, and. Uh, I thought it was really cool because it was a time capsule. Mm -hmm. So kind of looked at it, but there was another guy buying it. He's off camera right now. He's shy. He's untouched since 88, it seems like, be one of what's parked. Huh. Family trip. They got back from a family trip and they just parked it and the kid went on the college. <laughs> anyway, we don't know what engine's in it, but we know it's, we're pretty certain it's a big block. We just don't know which big block it is. So we right. got big Brian, big block Brian over here. And he's going to tell us, right? I'll tell you something, yeah. I know it's a big block. I'm, okay. I think I know distributors it's a big block. Distributors in the front. That's what I said. Distributors in the front, so it's, it's a big block. It's a big block. And then, yeah, there should be a, should be either be cast in the sidewall of the motor or it's going to be in the top by the distributor. Or it won't matter because they all take the same parts. Right, yeah. It's not going to matter either way. Yeah, two, two we need wise, a fuel pump. Wise, exactly. It's all the same stuff. Yeah. Yep. yep, so that's what I'm hoping. So we're going to have to um, probably... What do you think? 67 half thermal quads back then, right? No, no, I don't think they did. It'll be like an AFB Carter, type. Carter AFB, yeah. something. Yeah. So we'll see what kind of carburetor's in there. But if it's been parked since 88, whatever gas is in there, it's gone, right? This tank, though, you don't want to look at that gas tank. It's I brought my blanket so I could look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so, huh. All right, so okay. we're going to uh, get situated in there. Yeah, it's full. We'll do a walkthrough real quick. I got to warn you, though, I know you're kind of squeamish when it comes to mice. Oh, yeah. He's not. Might have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> they peed everywhere. Oh, so anywhere you see a dark spot on like the white vinyl, that's mouse pee that has attracted dirt. Okay. So don't don't touch any brown anything in there. It's mostly brown anyway because it's yeah. The interior is brown. Yeah, brown and orange. Here. I'm here. What are we doing? We're gonna see what kind of motor this thing has. Yeah. I'm gonna... And we're gonna do a walkthrough. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's do I'm first. Yeah, you go first because I've already first. been in there, and I don't want to go back in. First impressions. First impressions. Looks like an RV. I like this. Look at all this stuff. Artwork everywhere. It's a lot like the 75 or whatever we had. Huh. Ooh. Look at that. You know what that is? Eight, oh, eight, eight track. track player. I didn't see that. Huh. That's, That's cool. cool. Yep. But you know what else I saw when I was in here earlier? A couple things. You uh, just hit it. You just hit it. Spark plugs. That's scary. <laughs> that sounds like the boat. That usually means all it's stuff. All its original refrigerator and everything. Yeah. Did, um, That's what I had. Uh, Dometic. And look, this was a bottle of Comet. I guess mice like Comet. So that's gone. Huh, this is pretty cool. Brian, do you remember what these were? Look at the control panel. That's for the generator. It's for everything. That's for a will it run too. Yeah. yeah. That's a refrigerator, generator, yeah. water pump. Huh. Do you remember what these were for? You don't, I, I'm, I can't touch it because I'm getting grossed out because it's covered in oh, pee numbers. and poop, but you're like digging right in. Yeah, I just don't remember what these were for. I, I, I recognize them. No, I don't remember. I can't remember what they're for. So 
Vaseline. <gasps> Woo! Oh man, what if one jumped out and bit me in the face? Want some Vaseline? <laughs> oh, here you go, Brian. Here's a wrench from your time. Oh yeah. He's like ten years older oh, yeah. than me. <laughs> but it says on it. What is it? Fix it's or crazy. repair pair daily. Oh no, it's it's that's a that's actually an old script Ford wrench. I wonder if yeah, that's uh that's probably valuable. Yeah, it might be. Alright, well I don't want to go through everything, but what we're here to do is to make it run. <laughs> and, not uh, cook lunch. And not cook lunch. Somebody got into my saltines. Oh rascals. <laughs> well let's go see what engine it got, Brian. They definitely just parked. Oh, train set. Kevin, when you're when we're done filming, I'll let you play with Matt's train set. It's okay with him. And Brian, also a nice surprise for you since you're a fan of the literature. Hmm. Brian loves reading uh, reading books. Oh, yeah, I love books. <laughs> That's how you know how to fix it. Yeah, I'm dusty. Ah, oh, carrier bearing. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Don't drive this very far. <laughs> There's a carrier bearing. So That's uh, drive shaft support. I yep. wonder how many drive shaft sections are in this one. All right, let's take a look at, at the, under the hood or whatever this is called. Does this seat, did the seats turn, Matt? Do you yeah, think? I think so. Yeah, they should swivel. Oh, you're pulling it, I think. If you're not a wimp. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. That'll save us some space. All right, Brian, you ready? I'm ready. I got to get the Duncan. I'll let you do Good the chicken. honors. Pop the bonnet. And the clown pops out. We'll have to crawl underneath to see what... Radiator right looks oh, okay. Can you reach? A little bit of sandpaper, I think. This is the one of the tag spots right here. Maybe it's in the owner's manual. Hmm. There might be some numbers in there. Or it would have a sticker on the valve. Or... Did you find an owner's manual? Holly Cub. I found a picnic map newer. if that helps. That's a little newer, huh? We can get this running and drive her up to Chicago or uh, what is that, Michigan and find a place to stop. 1,500 miles of Michigan freeways. Alright, what do we think? That's a Holly, isn't it? It's a Holly, yep. It's probably a newer carb for sure. Yeah, because uh, you can see how the little fuel filter on there to catch all the rest out of the tank, so I guess we'll just Bypass all that and um, mm, spark plug wires look like they're still. I can't believe here. they're not eaten. Yeah, this is the first one I've seen that's not eaten. Yeah, they look. What is with this uh, return good. down here? This is a PCV, right? I guess it looks like it goes into the. I thought yeah. that was the oil pressure gallery. No, oil pressure sending it to the front on here because the oil pump's what's front that mounted. And what's that hose? This <coughs> is that going to oil it's pressure? It's a vacuum gauge? line, I think. On the block? Yeah, it's sense. part of the crankcase vent. See, it's sucking air out of here. There might be one. That might be added on, though. But I think that's to vent the crankcase better. Okay. Well, I don't know where that goes. Do you want to. Um, I want to crawl under it real quick, I guess. Check I guess. It. it. The oil's clean and it's full, so that's good. And do we try to crank it yet? No. We got I think we're going to do the right thing this time and spin it by hand <laughs> before we okay. stick a valve. So I'll lay under there and see if I can spin it by hand and see if there's a number on the block. So it looks pretty clean. All right. Let's go get you a blankie. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go under block. there with you, though. I'm not making you no. do all the dirty work no. by yourself. Okay. You made 8.669. That's new. newer. <laughs> newer than 60s. I'm, ready to go. I'm trying to get this to work either. So we had a little bit of play with the crank. You could feel it flip a little bit like this. That's before the pistons are moving. And then I just did this. So the pistons are actually moving. Oh, there's must be acorns or something we're grinding up. Turned over pretty easy just yeah, with the you belt. Got an acorn grinder on back there. Yeah. You using the fan? 
Yeah, Fran turned it over. Okay, well, so I guess... they put all these handles on here. <laughs> I guess it's ready to run. You're making it run like a boat engine. Yeah, so it turned over at least a half a rotation. Um, you want to try to do it more with the... Yeah, I got a little bit of a UV in here. It still might run into that fan, though, but we can try it. We can at least move it when it gets stuck, if it gets stuck on a ridge or something. Box have lines going to it or not? Or is it just a mechanic? It's got more of those uh, toilet supply stainless steel lines everywhere. Huh. What is that about? Braided stainless. Yeah, those are like three eighths inch kitchen supply lines. Yeah, they like braided stainless for a race car. That's stainless but exhaust. The stuff. ID on those are really so small. Did. So I mean, why are the head pipes stainless? That's weird. Well, we got to get sandpaper and figure out the motor. While you're hooking up, you're going to For what point? You're going to look at the points? Or we're just going to go? We need sandpaper. Oh, you want sandpaper to look at the numbers? Yeah, I want to look at that number on top. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. I thought I brought a blanket. Think, what's that box right there? It's, it's it's what's that box? box? Is that points? Oh, no, it's a condenser. Oh, oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Oh, what do you mean? I mean, it says HP. Oh, ow. Oh. It's a 383 HP? Right, like a 446 pack Cuda motor. 440. Shut the front door. Got to get a picture of this. You can tell, no. We already know the year. So it's a 440 HP. Shut up. What it is? That is like seventy-two, isn't it? It's a sixty-nine no. stamp on it. Sixty-nine. It's a newer block. You got yourself a dang four forty, son. Prices went up. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Well, that's pretty cool. That's real cool. Got your um, give it F four forty. That's probably the years F four forty. 1117 HP. Has 1117 horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> or 17. <laughs> huh. All right. So uh, we need gas. Yeah, we need and gas. And my little squirt thing. I got. I brought a little squirt thing. It's on your bed. I was going to fill the bowls up. That's what I'm going to do. Now. With my little squirt thing. I, I bet you. Okay. Well, I can see a vacuum line to the advance is missing. So there's a leak somewhere. Yeah. Actually, it's laying down next to it, I think. It's right here. Yep. Fixed. Fix that. So we need a piece of fuel line to go from here. Yeah. Could get a filter and some line and go right to the, yeah, we can go, the clicker pump. Well, you got the pump? Is yep. that a clicker? That looks more like a... No, I think it's a clicker. You think it's a clicker? If it's 50 PSI, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> this came out of a 2.5 <laughs> minivan. Did it? 440 HP, you lucky That's pretty duck. cool, yep. If there's only one engine, that would be better. And that would have been a Hemi. Yeah, yeah. the valve covers wouldn't have fit, so. Well, yeah, we would have known that, but I'm saying there's only one better engine than mm -hmm. 440 HP. So that motor is worth more than anything on this. That's, yeah, <laughs> definitely probably is. Yeah, I, I would just say it's a gold mine, but. No, but. But uh, they're, uh, it's what you want. Yeah, I don't know where the serial number for the car that it came out of would be. That's what would make it worth something. But it I don't think I brought a got. tripod, but we oh, might want to put a uh, tailpipe cam out there. We got Ryan's tailpipe. <laughs> it smells like gas in here. Oh, he's not doing anything until we put a battery on it, by the way, boys. Got that minor detail. Hey, Brian, be careful with that gas. <laughs> There's linoleum under the carpet. Were you lubing, lubing everything up? I like the shag carpet. I love the shag carpet. Grew up on that. Remember, Brian? Yeah. You know what look good in this room? A lot of browns, oranges, and yellows. What do you think, Brian? Well, well, the 440 HPs were 375? 375 horse. Yep, because the six pack was 390. So it could have been one better. Could have been a six pack. Could have been a six pack. And they just changed the manifold. But I got go get a battery. Go get a battery. Why don't you, hey, why don't you go get a battery? 
I'm too afraid to step on that first step. Besides the negative, any, 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 oh. Hook up and smell as anything's burning. I'm not hooking it up. <laughs> My battery's too big. All right. I'm probing um, for power under Ooh. your leaking gas. Oh, Kevin, what are you doing? I do all that stuff not to spill gas. What's Kevin do? That's where the gas goes. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, you're going to need more clamps, aren't we? There's so much mouse piss. Oh, I found a phone. Are down. Okay. I think we'll just put that in and out. So that's going to go there. Uh, Brian, I brought the beeper. Oh, good. That goes there. We've got plenty there. Want key on or off? This battery that I charged is not charged. Uh, yeah, listen to that thing. Yeah. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Is there anything on? Nothing. I can't hit the... Get the turn the wipers on. Or uh, the lights on. Yeah, sure. Nothing. My dad. Break my ear. Yeah, I know you're on. I can see that you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we do a wheel run with these jump packs, you gotta listen to that. Okay, I'll go get some hose clamps, and then we're ready on my end. I'll get my jumper box out. Yours or mine? That's fine. Okay, I'll get mine so we can run the pump. Oh, something's oh, running. Yeah. What was that? There's a thing in the front. Sounded like a pump, like a yeah. water pump. I hit aux and a battery. Hmm. Battery. Charge. I don't think we got a fuel pump. Oh, I got lights. The refrigerator is on. Where's the beer? <laughs> Rolling key on. There's a little bit of voltage in there. It's got power to the coil. Okay. Hang on a second. Turn the key off. Key off. All right. Well, it got power. Good. So it might even crank. It on might even own. crank. I might not have to jump over the relay. Yeah. We okay. might not have to. All right. Is everybody ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Matthew, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, hit it, Kevin. All right. Near nothing. Oh. <laughs> Not even a clicky. Oh, so we don't need gas yet, do we? What's that knob? Is that a choke? So I got a manual choke on it. Yeah, right. No, the there's another solenoid over here. Let me uh, stick my beak in there. Okay. If no, I have to go down below. Well, that's where I was about to go, and then... oh, that's the um, you know what that is? That's for the chassis chassis power. Okay, well, we just want here. this red wire right there. You ready? It's key on? He's on. That's the weak battery. This is the starter right here. This is the same as a Dodge. Same as the uh, Newport. Newport than the Roadrunner. No, well, it's a shorty. It should be a tall one for yeah. Big Bar. Okay, my, my probe is too big. First time ever, huh? <laughs> Hit the turn the key, Kevin. Like crank it. Crank. Oh, it's shorted. All right. Get power. It sounds like the starter might. Be. All right, go ahead, crank it. Crank. What's uh, clicking? Is that the starter? That's clicking? me. That no, this is oh. relay. Just leave it on. 
Everything, everything wants to beep in my ear. Rolling. All right, so we've had a lot of current problems, current delivery problems. Uh, there appears to be no ground from the from the block to the chassis, which is uh, you know prevented decent cranking because uh, there's not enough current. Uh, Brian noticed that when he touched the trans cooler lines, and they were hot. That was the ground pass. So we've since uh, added grounds here and there. We have two jump packs, a battery, and jumper cables running to a Jeep outside. I think we're going to have enough crank to do something. Let me know when you're ready, Brian. What are you trying this, to do right now? I'm going to put this You want to put those somewhere? Here, I got, some, uh, I got some angle ball. iron. Well, only one of them is good. I know, but we don't know which one. I don't know which one, so both they go. So we were trying to use these jumper cables before. Nothing. So, um, but they're not broken. They're failed somewhere, but we're just using them to add a ground from the block to the chassis, which is where the ground for this battery hooks up, hook up goes. All right. You ready? Oh, we got accelerator pump now too. Accelerator? It's squirting? We have accelerator pump squirting. We now. never have accelerator pumps. Ooh. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. It already kicked. How many cylinders are playing the fire on? We should set up a uh, tailpipe camera. Going. Junior, never for my dad. Rolling. That's right. You'll never be your sister. All right, everybody ready? Yep. All right. Clean the points. Take ten. So I thought I heard one kick. Yeah. So let's check for spark for the 15th million time. We're just going for a random on the vacuum pool. All right, ready? <laughs> because we, what? I want to get in. Let's try here. Hmm. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. Camera's rolling outside on a tailpipe. Yeah. So what we just did was we threw in a set of points. I went and I got another coil. And uh, Brian and I are both the same impression. Coils never die. Um, however, we couldn't get anything out of the coil. If you just hook it up positive, negative, and let it go, it was doing nothing. The new one does. So let's see what happens. Ready? Ready. Put your face on the because the firing order might be wrong. Oh, ho, 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 ho. ready? Ready. She's going to go. No gas. Okay. Yeah, my, so that's the trick. So when you're starting these from a dead, you don't know if they're flooding or not. Is that on video? Yeah, I have it on mine too. <laughs> he had to dip out. Uh, apparently, we evicted somebody out of the exhaust system. That plug might be backwards. <laughs> yeah, that one and the other one. That one? Yeah. So we took those two off. Yeah, and this, this is the lower one. She doesn't have a terminal. Fired. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I saw fire down there. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's turning off when I lose the key. It's going to be one of those deals. Did you give me a bad request? Oh. Isn't it a that you need to fill? The front Seems to be a screw. And the front vent, there's a screw in there? It's apparently the front one. The I mean, the back one. Well, the back one, it's. Yeah, we don't, we, we don't need that one right now. You're right. Because we're looking at it backwards. You want me I'm to use confused. The factory resistor? No, you. Uh, no. Shouldn't matter. Shouldn't matter. All right, now I got fuel in there. 
sounded like the float was working or the uh, needle and like seat was working. The pump. Ready? Yep. Yeah, boy! Woo! That's it. She's a runner. All right, we got a. Uh, I hope we ran out of gas, but that yeah. sounded good. You're lucky, go you're lucky now, guy. You know how long it runs on a car. That's how much gas you use in 10 seconds. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was one gallon. The one gallon. I'll take it. <laughs> want to fire it, Brian? Keep, uh, you want to keep just doing that? Okay. Oh, my God. It starts right up in idles. Right up in idles. Oh, my God. I can't. Uh, let me the see. linkage isn't very good. Uh, let's see. The linkage is tight, you said? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, keep running. Oil pressure. Oil pressure, 50. <laughs> and that's it, man. It's running great. Look how smooth it is. Oh, my God. It's not even. Uh, I think we got the firing water right. Yeah, the funny thing is. Um, the funny thing is. Those plugs that are in there and the wires, how garbage they are. Yeah, it still yep. good like that. Yeah, pretty good. Quiet. Not, no clicky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you guess. forgot about the gas, didn't you, buddy? Forget about <laughs> it. That was it. <laughs> we had another jumper wire. We could have that running all the time. Man, we that do have a jumper. Just sitting on a jumper wire. Every time you revved it, all you're doing is blowing all the crap into my face. My face, too. <laughs> you know, but I don't like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to get this thing to idle. The, all right, well, he wants power. For, oh, that's wire. All right, well, we'll come back in a second. Let's wire up the pump permanently. -ish. Permanently. <laughs> Ish. It's rolling. Rolling. We're rolling. Look. <laughs> Let me talk to the listen, camera. Listen to that. Listen how quiet it's running. All I hear is these things beeping. Yeah. All right. It's so, running good. It's yeah. okay. got 50 pounds of oil pressure. Oh, you're a camera guy. All right. Yeah, good. we're running good. We're going to try to lot drive it now with no brakes. The pedal, I got the pedal to move, but it's uh, probably got no fluid in it anymore. There's no problem shit through here. But here we go. Let's see if it stalls. Very quiet. We have reverse the second jump. We never checked the chain through. We lost gears all of a sudden. There's a transition fluid. Yeah, well, I said to him, well, we didn't check. Me. There's no way it didn't leak fluid. Yeah. There's a quart of tranny fluid over there, so that yeah. might be an indicator. Thank you. All right, we got to put tranny fluid in it. We'll come back. Now we got the timer going. Okay. Okay. We're ready, we're ready Added a little bit of transmission fluid, and now we're ready to try moving. Yep. Here we go. We are moving. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> don't, don't run over my Jeep. Almost did. Tires, I can already feel it. Yeah, a little lumpy, you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> How do the brakes feel? Air brakes. Yeah. That's okay. Make sure you guys yell. I don't know where I'm going. What about your mirrors? Yeah, I got mirrors, but. Where's the truck? Now, look at this. We really are moving. There's Kevin. There's a boat back there. All right, let's go forward. You see the boat? You gonna go around the block? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, we're going around the block. Hopefully, it doesn't die somewhere where we don't I want know, it. That's not worried. Well, I'll get this to tow it. We're off. Don't run over the air conditioner. Power steering feels good. Uh, surprisingly. I don't know if it's power steering or not. Are you taking a short? Yeah. Oh, I hope you make it.
There goes Kevin. He saw me where to go. Yeah. <laughs> As if he had... <laughs> I don't think he realized we have zero confidence. There's a bird. Turn left hard. Hard left. Oh, Why? man. Because there was a bird there. It's one of them deer kill or deer call birds. Look at that. We're going to go back to where we came from? No, we're we're gonna gonna go another, now we'll do a bigger lap. Don't wear out the tires. Look, the speedometer is trying to work. Like 10, 0, 10, 0. Temperature is up there, so we're going to do one lap and come back. Oh, yeah, we might not have water. Shifted, got second gear. Okay, Just turn left. Right now. <laughs> and then go down to the camper. I'm gonna turn left here. Or no, there? I'm gonna go on the far one. Okay. Good thing because there's a dude there. Oh yeah. <laughs> you flat dude. You know what's funny? I started sending it, and then I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, no brakes. brakes. What about those brakes? What about those brakes? I was like, here comes a 727 reverse drop. You could, uh, the temperature's okay right now. It uh -huh. looks like it came down. Yeah, I do want to hit the brakes, but there are not. Do this, stay to your left. I don't think there's any power steering. Yeah, stay to your left. Left, 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 left. You should back it in, huh? Uh, I don't know. There has to be in that spot. <laughs> there has to be in that spot? I don't know. I think so. If you're going to back it in, you want me to move the Jeep? Up, 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 up. Don't hit your truck. <laughs> Brakes. Ah, oh, it timed it perfectly. All right. Oh, All right. There, there we go. go. After we go, 35 years, the 67 Trafco with a 69 440 HP P, runs fired right up. and drives and does not stop. Smells like my, I'm sitting on mouse pile. It smells bad in here. Pile of If you hold the camera level, it looks better. Looks slow. <laughs> Even though I'm ugly. All right. So that's it. But guess what? There's more. There's more. We got another wheel. There's a whole nother engine in here. There's this is only one engine. There's a whole nother one. Yep. Let's check it out. Rolling. <laughs> so Bear Power just jumped in here and ripped this lock open like it was nothing. Didn't even realize it was locked. Now the lock is removed and probably ready to go. Yeah. If that, the top one does work, you guys have to keep it. That lock was stuck. Yeah, we're not gonna spec. But this is the other motor, the other sure. engine. <laughs> It's an Onan generator. We should be able to start from inside, but uh, all the electrical connections underneath and around the battery are so bad that I don't know what actually has power. Some things work inside there, but most things do not. So, don't know why yet. It would take another day to go through, but I don't think we need that for the generator to run. Uh, is there a solenoid right there on top? There's a start button. Let's try the start button. I'll try it. Not a all right, well, I don't have batteries turned on. What's this? Let me grab my meter. There's a battery hookup on it. 1976, 23, mini winnie. Must mean something to somebody. Other... I don't know where the starter actually is. It might be the motor. The motor might, or the generator might be the starter. Oh, we went and bought a coil. This thing's got a coil on it. It's got, it's got a uh, twin terminal coil on it. I was hoping that it would just... Whoa, Jesus, I saw your hand. I didn't know you were under there. Under. That was an animal. <laughs> so I, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> on, the, on the back end, there's not a... What can do? There's a ground wire here, and then I can feel these wires clicking here when you do that.
Okay, so that's it for this old RV. Matt, thank you for having us out and playing with your garbage. Anytime. Anytime? Anytime. No more time. No more time. <laughs> no more time. <laughs> no more time. <laughs> it was a little bit of a struggle. In the end, I've got to talk louder. There's a lot of traffic going by. Come on. We're at a storage unit near a state highway. Anyway, uh, after 35 years, the traffic runs and drives. We did catch second gear, and then I remembered we had no brakes. That's okay. Brian said turn left. We were good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pack it up. Uh, we did take a look at this Onan generator. It's a little clogged, a little full of garbage. It can run. It's seized right now. We, it's just too much work to get in there for the minutes that we have left in the day uh, to get it running. But that maybe is for another time. Um, again, thank you, Matt. And uh, you got any big plans for this? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> what? Cleaning. Cleaning, 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 new carpet, yeah. you know, the basic. Yeah. Yep. Chewing up oil change. I don't even yeah. think you need new tires. <laughs> <laughs> so, get her on home. Again, thanks again. Uh, that was fun. And that is all from Ravenna, Ohio. Yeah.